selectively auto adjust your image in Lightroom Classic. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips video, I wanna show you how you can selectively auto adjust your image in Lightroom Classic. Let me show you how it works. All right, here's a picture of my friend standing on a frozen lake. I'm here in the develop module in Lightroom Classic. Now, as you may or may not already know, here in the tone sub panel, there is an auto button. If I select that, that will auto adjust my image. Now, I think this feature is great, but as you can see with this image, it didn't work out that well. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and reset this image. So now we're back to the original raw image straight out of camera. So instead of selecting auto for all of these adjustment sliders in the basic adjustment panel, what I can actually do is if I hold down shift, then double click on one of the adjustment sliders, it will auto adjust for that specific slider. So you can see my exposure slider here was changed to negative 2.58, but none of the other sliders were adjusted. Now I think the exposure slider is actually making a poor choice. So I'm gonna actually double click on exposure without holding down shift, and that will reset that slider. Now where I think the auto adjust is doing a great job is my highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So what I'm gonna do is hold down my shift key, double click highlights, double click shadows, double click whites, and double click blacks, all while holding down shift. Now you can see, I think that's a much better exposure of the image. I've got recovered whites, and I've got a uh, much deeper black in the shadow areas. So now I can go back and adjust my exposure accordingly. I actually think it's a pretty good exposure. I'm actually gonna go up plus 0.2. Now contrast, I don't think we need much contrast in this image, it's pretty contrasty as it is. Now I could also hold down shift and select vibrance and see where that takes me. I think that's a good adjustment. Saturation, that's fine. I don't think it really did that much. So that plus 15 of vibrance really helps the colors to pop a bit. I'm gonna bring up my clarity and my texture a tiny bit. There you go. Let's try the same technique on a second image from the same shoot. So here's again my friend near the frozen lake. If I select auto again, now I think that's a little too dark. So I think exposure again is the problem here. So I'm gonna hold down shift, select highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. And now to be honest, what I could do is I could select auto and then just double click my exposure to bring that back. So I think the exposure is the problem with these images. Now either way you do it, this auto feature in Lightroom Classic is a great way to save a bit of time. Now, as you can see in these two specific images, the auto adjustment feature didn't work out that well, especially at the first image. If I shift and double click on the individual sliders, I can selectively choose which slider is going to auto adjust for me. Now, I'd encourage you to try this auto feature on a bunch of your images. You'll see that some images work better than others, but don't forget to shift double click on a title of an adjustment slider to just selectively auto adjust that specific slider. Now, if you have any questions regarding what I just showed you, please list them in the comments below. And if you'd like us to demonstrate any specific techniques in Lightroom Classic or any other editing software, please also let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.